Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Ewan Rabbit. We are staring at the back of my Pro ESDA S15 here at St. Louis Raceway. That's because this video is definitely the announcement about I will be heading to St. Louis this week for FD. I will be there this weekend. So if you guys are going to be at FD St. Louis, make sure you guys come find me. I'll have some stuff to give away just like I did in Erie. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll follow the description box below as well as Instagram because that's where you'll be seeing posts from St. Louis here on my Instagram as well as probably doing maybe some YouTube or Instagram lives while I'm there. So make sure you follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. So some big changes with the 15 because I've determined after some recent testing that I do definitely drive better in first person. Now I know recently I've been driving in competitions in third for content, but you're going to be seeing a lot more of the first person. As you can see, big changes in the 15. It is now left hand drive because being you know from the US, left hand drive car. So the car got switched from the right hand drive to left hand drive. Still got to do some a little bit modeling changes. Obviously change the NRG into NRG halo seats and things like that. But I pulled the big halo seat off because of the blind spots that I had when I was in cockpit view. So we're going to be ripping this here at St. Louis. Make sure you guys do follow me on social media. So we're going to go full send. We do have a power plant as well as you can hear. We do have the RTR motor, but there's a small spoolie boy on it now. Addy and I decided to switch to this different style RTR power plant. A little spoolie boy. And this thing is loud. A little spoolie boy. So we're gonna go rip here at St. Louis. Let's see what we can do in R15. First runs out. Fresh tune, fresh car. If you notice, coldest water, energy innovations, evil rabbit on the dash. A little bit into the tire wall there. Unfortunately, that does happen. I did get lost in that, but oh, we can go through that. Again. So one thing that I would like to mention is like driving more and more in first person mode has become more of a staple. I do drive in first person or with my VR all the time. I'm just adjusting the camera lighting for you guys. So it stops fading in and out. There we go. We're good. But the video contact aspect, I do do a lot of third person. But when I'm competing, am I blind? First person is definitely more closer to the zones and things like that. So we're going to try not hit the wall this time. Like I said, big changes with this 15. Oh, we've already hurt the motor. Definitely a very difficult track to be 100 smooth. Like I said, this is a fresh tune and obviously a new build, new power, and things like that that we are slightly getting used to. I need these tires up. Try not to pop the motor. Have a fresh motor going into this run, and then we'll take a look at the replay angle. We hurt the motor again. I gotta fix that. Addy, we gotta fix the motors. It's kinda popping. Yeah. 
definitely losing boost. I think we should probably go down to 70. Maybe that'll help us from popping our motor. Maybe we're just peaking our boost way too much. Fresh test with this car. Does not look like we popped the motor on the, oh, yeah, we did. Oh man, we gotta figure this out. Side bank in the ladder thing so we'll take a look at that last run it wasn't too terrible we're going to see what it looks like i know we weren't anywhere near zones like i said this track is a very complicated track from the rip so we didn't hurt the motor in this run as well as you can see it's already smoking so it's something we're gonna have to fix and dial back a little bit deep in zones we're gonna punch those clips but not a big deal Definitely missed that zone and punted that one. I'm definitely struggling with the car when it comes to the motor having issues. So it's something we're gonna have to next. We're gonna switch tracks to another track that we do definitely know and can run fully. So let's go switch it up. So by track we know and that is FD Urbandale. We're gonna go and rip it here at Urbandale, one of my favorite tracks. Hopefully, maybe gonna get a chance to go out to the end of here. Not sure if that is be in the cards, but we're gonna definitely try for sure. We're in the grass. I wasn't paying attention. This car is just so loud. We should probably lower that just a smidge. And a lot of people are saying we need better, louder car sounds. Well, here you go. We're going to run FD, Irwindale, and see what we can do in the new 215. Not a bad run. We can definitely try that run again and see what we can do. Fifth gear on the bank. A little wall tap, but nothing super major. So as you can see, this power plant is very suited for some heavy high speed tracks. Definitely like I said, definitely gotta fix the modeling. The steering wheel's gotta go up a little bit more. Notice it's a little bit low. So we gotta fix some modeling up, and do some retexturing up the dash and stuff like that. So let's go full send. We managed to save that, but too much send. So let's take a look at the replay on this one. Yep, we gotta go from the get go, from the beginning. So we're gonna take a look at the full replay of this. So, like I said, I feel more comfortable being in the car on the left side of the car. So it's definitely what we're going to be changing up to, as you can see. Nice and high on the bank. Running the wall, just a little wall tap there. Come in, transition, nice on there. Quick flick. How close are we? Okay, we were kind of running right in that wall. Coming off there, angled up a little too soon. Managed to work our way out there, but unfortunately not the best way out there. So that second run, let's take a look at that one.
feet nice and high on the wall so definitely a much smoother place for me being in the cockpit that's what we over sent it but we managed to bring it back so i know there's this, always this big debate first person versus third person well for me i'm way more oh <laughs> for me i'm way more comfortable in first but for video aspects, I do do a lot in third person for you guys. But if you guys are enjoying the first person views, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching another video. I'll see you guys on the track.